Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Discrete Sound Field tool in MSC Actran. Actran is an acoustics simulation tool. Um, it's used for, for pure acoustics, vibroacoustics or aeroacoustics. But one of the um, applications that's been developed in conjunction with a major satellite manufacturer is a tool for simulating the diffuse sound field that you get um, as a random acoustic loading in launch events, uh, one of the one of the criteria that satellites um, and other space vehicles are designed against. Um, historically, this was done with with FEA using a uniform pressure, uh, but obviously, as the wavelength decreases with increasing frequency, that uniform pressure assumption gets uh, more and more shaky. So, this tool was developed to to address that, to improve the fidelity of the loading, and therefore reduce uh, conservatism in the design. So you can set these jobs up using the usual set of tools, meshing, setting up an analysis, but uh, Actran provides this handy wizard for doing the job for you. So we'll just walk through the, st the steps here. So the first thing it's asking me for um, are the frequencies. So my PSD has a set of uh, frequencies defined, so I'm going to put those in as uh, discrete values to start with. Um, and then I'm going to have a, a log um, from 50 hertz in uh, 100 steps to 2000 hertz. Uh, and then asking for the gravitational constant in uh, meters per second squared. So I'll leave that as it is. This next step is all about the structure. So this is importing the model of my, my satellite and defining the uh, the modal behavior of it from a, from a previous normal modes analysis in an FEA package. So first thing I do is specify my mesh format, uh, which I'm using a Nastran BDF file, other options are available. Um, I browse to find that. Um, my modes format, I'm using Nastran OP2, I've already run this before now, and I browse to pick that up as well. And I know uh, there are 830 modes stored in that OP2 file. Um, and I'm going to have a damping of 4%. So here we can see, there's my satellite. Um, it's, a, it's a simple example um, that was uh, from the Nastran training material. So I move on to the next stage. So this is now asking me about the acoustics, the acoustic part of the mesh, um, part of the model. So I want to use I want to use the meshing tools to, to create my coupling surface, which is what relates the structure to the fluid. I can browse and pick one up if I've already made one. Um, if it was a particularly complicated uh, a coupling surface, I might have spent time making that in more detail, but I'm going to use the, the uh, automatic method here. So I'm, what I'm essentially going to do is shrink wrap this model. So click on that and create a new shrink wrap and then select the whole structure like that um, and then set my element size. I'm going to have four centimeter elements. Um, and I'm going to use a one centimeter distance. So that creates my coupling surface one centimeter off the faces of the finite elements. Um, click active uh, on the preview, and that will up just, just update me to show what the mesh actually look like, looks like. So this, this uh, shrink wrap is essentially like um, pulling a bag around the structure here. So there is my um, shrink wrap. I hit create PIDs and that builds and adds it into the tree over here. Uh, the next step is defining my uh, fluid region. Um, and we do this by offsetting from the face of the structure or from the face of the, the coupling surface. Uh, so I'm just going to put in a nominal thickness of, of 30 centimeters here. Uh, my uh, fluid is air um, and these units are all correct. Uh, it's worth noting um, you can use uh, different unit systems. There's a built-in way of converting back to the uh, meters, newtons, kilogram second that Actran uses internally, except for with this wizard. This wizard, you have to have your original finite element model 
in, um, in meter units rather than millimeter or inch. Um, so I need to specify my gap tolerance, which is um, how it's uh, matching the, um, the, the coupling mesh. I just shrink wrap to the finite element mesh itself. So I use the same value as I used in creating that. And then it's asking me what the coupling mesh is coupling the fluid to. So I need to select the, uh, the various panels, um, areas of my model there to say it's coupling to those. Sliding down, nothing else to complete on there. So the next uh, set is all about my PSD. So I can import an existing file. My format is comma separated values. And if I go in here, there is my PSD. Various options to do that. I need to set the reference DB, which is 2E minus 5. Um, and then as we slide down here so we can see our, our PSD, um, it's asking again uh, for the, the sound speed, fluid density. Um, and then this number of samples and number of parallels relates to the way in which the software sets up the, um, the, the inbound uh, uh, sound waves that it's using in the frequency response to, to represent the, uh, the random um, sound field, diffuse sound field. So I'll just leave those defaults. Uh, next thing it's asking me about output. So I can choose none at all. I can choose some nodes, choose some elements, or choose some of each. So I'm going to choose some of each. So again, I can flick back to the list I've already got. So I can copy and paste those nodes in and then add the sort of output I want. So I'm interested in the XYZ acceleration at those nodes. Uh, perhaps they are locations where some critical equipment is mounted in the satellite and I just want to make sure that it are not exceeding any limits um, in what they're subjected to. And then I can also add some elements to recover stresses. Um, for the purposes of this demo, this is a, just an isotropic material so I'm going to request the solid stress and the von Mises at the maximum fiber distance. Now that's, that's all defined there. Move on next. And that is, that is literally job done. So I can open the run tab, click finish. And my model is all completely populated, ready for me to uh, press run. And the analysis will start. So the analysis takes um, uh, an hour or so to run. Um, when it's complete, I can uh, go to the plot viewer. I can uh, open the plot file that I was uh, created, and I can start looking at some results. So if I look at um, for Mises stress here um, and plot the PSD of that, so that's my the PSD of um, stress for that. And I can then add you know, like the RMS values in for that in, uh, in Pascal's, obviously. Um, I can do the same thing for, let's say, the, uh, the, the um, solid acceleration in X. And again, with the RMS value shown. So you can extract the kind of results you need to report um, on the, the, uh, the validity of the satellite against the loading that has been defined. Thanks very much.